Kia ora, I'm Hannah, and today I'm going to be sharing with you another story from the wonderful Auntie B. These story times are part of our local Heritage Week, He Kete Rau Mahara, here at Rutarua Library, Te Akamauri. This is the story of Ihinga, an infamous tupuna of Te Arua. It's written here by Auntie B, illustrated by Catherine Quinn Merriweather, and published by Auntie B Publications. This is Ihinga. He was a famous chief. His grandfather was Tamate Kapua. Tamate Kapua was the captain of the Te Arua Canoe. Ihinga was an explorer. He enjoyed discovering new places. Ihinga lived at Maketu. Maketu is the landing place of the Te Arua Canoe. Maketu is well known for the abundance of kaimwana. Maketu is a beautiful place full of our people's history. Ihinga had two dogs, Ōtaka Tawhiti and Oho. One warm sunny morning, Ihinga wanted to hunt kiwi. He took his two dogs with him and together they made their way to a river. The river was full of big fat eels. Ihinga caught eels and feasted. Ihinga named this river Kaituna, the chiefly river treasured by the people of Maketu. They walked and they walked up the river. They arrived at a beautiful place. They admired the bush and the falls. The dogs were tired and thirsty. They ran on ahead. They returned and they spewed up white bait. Ihinga thought to himself, Hmm, ahaha, there must be water around. From the top of the hill, he could see a lake. It looked rather small. Ihinga could only see part of this lake. He named this Rotoiti, the small lake. But we all know that Rotoiti is quite large. They arrived at a river. Because Oho was in such a hurry to swim in the river, he drowned in a dangerous whirlpool. Sadly, Ihinga named this river Oho after his kuri. Oho, the river of Ngati Pikiao. Oho, the river belonging to the people of Maurya. Soon Ihinga and Ōtaka Tawhiti arrived at the mouth of the river. They sighted the second beautiful lake with rippling water. He named this lake Rotorua Nui a Kahumata Momoi after his uncle Kahumata Momoi. In the middle of Lake Rotorua was a majestic island. He named this island Mokoya. We know that this island is Te Motu Tapu Atimiro, the homeland of Hinemoa and Tutanuke. Ihinga saw smoke rising from a mountain. He had heard about the fairy people who lived there. He heard that if they touched you, they would cast a spell and they would turn you into one of them. But if you rubbed your skin with shark oil, you'd be protected. Ihinga made his way up the mountain. He reached the marae Tuahu o te atua. He heard voices. He heard singing. So he hid himself away. He hid behind the tea tree bushes. He saw a beautiful woman singing and holding a calabash. He came out from the tea tree. Ihinga was thirsty. He asked for a drink and he took the calabash and had a drink. The woman fancied the handsome Ihinga, but when she smelt the shark oil, the smell put her off and she disappeared quickly. Ihinga set fire to the bush to frighten off the fairies. He named the mountain Wongo Taha to drink from a calabash. Ihinga discovered and named many places, rivers and lakes in the Bay of Plenty in the North Island. Ihinga was a famous discoverer. 
Today, the Marae Tangata Rua stands at the Waiariki Institute of Technology Rotorua to honour our chief Ihinga, carved by Lionel Grant of Tiarua, for all of us to cherish and admire. From the rising of the sun to the setting, he will never be forgotten. Ihinga Te Rangatira o Te Arua. Thanks again for joining me for this story time. Make sure you come and visit us at the Rotorua Library for more great local kōrero. Noho mai.